Hi everyone, in this video we're going to create and explore a simple glitch project. Now we've already learned how to log in, so we'll just uh, click on new project here. And we get three choices. Uh, at your level you want to choose this first one, a simple hello web page. These other two involve uh, extra tools and databases that we have not explored yet. So hello web page is what you want. So we'll click that. And after a few moments, we have a complete uh, web page ready to go. It has a random name. Uh, doesn't make much sense. You can change this name as long as you change it into something uh, unique. But we'll just leave it uh, for now. And we have a few other things here, some which you don't recognize and some of which you do. We have the home uh, page index.html. We have a JavaScript page which is linked into your uh, home page here. And we have a style sheet uh, which is linked into your home page, let's see, right here. Uh, neither of them really do very much. They're just sort of templates for you to add your own uh, code of interest. A um, couple of things you haven't seen. This is a documentation page written in something called Markdown. And it's kind of a shortcut for HTML. If we click this button here, uh, you're able to edit the page. And the style is controlled by very simple characters uh, such as these uh, triple pound signs and uh, square brackets and parentheses. I'm not going to try to teach you this right now. We can come back to this later. So you can just ignore it or fiddle with it as you see fit. Um, this .env uh, page is for some advanced uh, private settings. Uh, we'll uh, come to that later. And this is not actually a folder, but uh, a separate region in Glitch in which you can store uh, graphics and that sort of thing. And we'll come back to that later. Um, the thing is, it's ready to go as soon as it's been created. So if I click Show, there are two options. One is to see it uh, next to the code. So if I'm working on my home page and I want to change Hi there to Home, I can see the results immediately. Alrighty. So um, if you notice this uh, little icon here, uh, this is provi provides uh, some handy links and it is created by the JavaScript down here. Uh, I won't try to explain it further right now. Let's just consider it magic for the moment. Um, the other option you have is to open your page in a new tab. And notice that the URL is just the name of your project, .glitch.me. So this is what you can share with friends or uh, whoever you wish, and they will be able to see your page. Um, we see the um, little extra icon tool here. Um, OK, this full page doesn't always work. Uh, correctly with Firefox, which is why I'm using uh, Google Chrome. That seems to be the uh, uh, friendliest browser for this tool. And also, if you have ad blockers or something, such as I have Privacy Badger here, you may want to turn that off because that can uh, interfere with some of these things. All right, let's close this and uh, return. Let's do just a little more work and create a two-page website before we close. So I will open this side-by-side uh, -side editing mode. And by the way, there are handles here that you can use to move these boundaries. 
usually kind of helpful to uh, uh, make this a little narrower. And there's also a button here that you can use to close it completely. But we'll leave it open for now. So we change this page to home. Let's also change the uh, tab uh, to home. And that is under title here. So we'll change hello to home. And how about above this home heading, we create a list of two links. So we'll make it an unordered list. And for the first item, we'll make a link to the home page. So anchor href equals index dot html. And oops, I need to put the angle bracket here. And the tag that we will click on will be home. OK, so this should work already. But since there's only one page, it just takes us back to where we started from. So let's make a copy of this. Copy. And whoops, I'll tell you about that help thing in a minute. And paste. And let's have an about page. A B O U T. And we'll call it uh, about.html. OK? So the link is here, uh, but it doesn't work because this page doesn't exist yet. But no problem. Uh, let's make an identical copy of our first page. Duplicate that. And we'll call it about.html. And let's change the name. And let's change the name here. And I noticed that I misspelled home on the other page, so let's fix that. And now let's make it a full page. OK, so you can see it says home on the tab and over here. And if we go to the other page, we have about. And then we can return to home. And once again, notice that you can now give this out to your friends. The name of your project is the project name dot glitch dot me. And I think I'll let it go at that for now. See you next time.